Hey everybody, it's me again. Um, I just recorded a video on drugstore deals, but I thought, well, it's already the end of the month, so it's time for some July favorites 2014. Real quick, I'm going to show you guys my shirt. Um, excuse me, I'm not wearing a brassiere, but real quick, I'm going to show you. I like warm hugs, and it's Olaf. And if any of you are a fan of Disney's Frozen, Olaf is my homie. All right, let's get to our July favorites. As you can tell, too, I just got out the shower. I went outside to tan for a little bit. Not even that long. So, my July favorites of 2014. I keep talking about this, Instagramming this. I know it's not a beauty product, but this chocolate bar is like heaven. This is called Delish, and it's dark and sinful, and it has pear and almond, and it's dark chocolate. So, for any of you who are dark chocolate fans... Um, not necessarily some men like, what's his name, Lance Gross. Oh, he is so fine. Hmm. Chocolate. But no, uh, if you're a fan of dark chocolate candy, I would totally tell you to try this out. It's like $2 and some change at your local Walgreens. Next, let's get into skincare. Now, you guys know I like go through so many different phases with my skincare. My skin is constantly changing with the weather, all that, yada, yada. Well, since I am now working for Bare Minerals, I've been using the Purely Nourishing Moisturizer. This is day and night, and this is the Purifying Facial Cleanser. And these are both like universal, um, well this is a universal cleanser that Bare Minerals sells, and this is for combination skin. Now just to show you, show you guys or let you guys know, um, I am not being... Um, paid to talk about this on camera I am just letting you guys know I do work for a location for Bare Minerals I am not paid to do this so this is just me saying that this has become my monthly favorite because I do work for the company but you know to each his own everybody has their own type of skincare I seem to really like this so far um, what I like about the Bare Mineral skincare is that there's no crazy scent to it. I am still using my Neutrogena oil-free combination uh, moisturizer. Um, I kind of switch it in between my Bare Minerals, but I really love this because it's more safe for my type of skin. Now let's go to makeup bronzers. The bronzers I've been using are these Macaluring Aquatic Limited Edition ones in Delphic and Aphrodite Shell. And this is Delphic. It's, uh, I think, a little bit deeper than this one. And I just kind of go through both of them as bronzers. And this is Aphrodite Shell. I just kind of switch off. Now for brows, you guys know I use the Anastasia um, Brow Powder. But to set my brows, I use the e.l.f. Wet Gloss Lash and Brow Clear Mascara on my brows. This is so cheap. This is a dollar at Target why not and as far as a mascara goes I've been loving um, benefits they're real this is the little trial size I do have a full size I'm trying to use this up before I open my full size this is the best mascara hands down it is higher end but I freaking love it if you guys want even the trial size and you want to try it out go to your local Sephora I think it's ten dollars I don't know I think Ulta does sell the trial one as well but it's ten dollars if you want the full size I believe it's 23 hands down the best mascara ever for higher end um, but as far as drugstore I have been on the hype of Milani these are their runway lashes instant volume mascara this baby is only four dollars and some change people like four dollars and it does basically what their real does. I would kind of say it's almost a dupe for their real, but oh my god, I love Milani. I've been buying Milani actually for a long time. Um, I used to buy a lot of Milani, like um, I think when I was in my senior year of high school and then a little bit into college, but it was just weird because everybody's been on this Milani hype, like oh, they got all this and that. Milani has always been a good brand, hands down. A lot of people like think it's this new on and poppin drugstore brand no boo boo it's been around for a while and the lady there was so cute she was telling me because I bought another um eyeshadow she was like yeah and look where it's made in the U.S. of A so I know some of you out there are like I can't believe everything in our stores is from China blah blah, blah. like I get it, but she was like proud, like, girl, look, this is made in the USA. So if you guys are ever wondering where Belani is made, 
uh, it's made in USA, that's what it says here, but uh, this mascara is made in Italia, in Italy, but whatever, because it's Milani, hello, the name, but best mascara hands down, everybody's been talking about these Milani eyeshadows, I have it in Bella Pink, Bella Violet, Let's see, Bella Champagne, and Bella Charcoal. I have four of them. I am surprised I don't have all of them. But these are the basic colors that I probably would just need for myself. They go for $3.99 at your local Walgreens. Check them out. Best high-end, um, I would say, makeup palette, eyeshadow palette that I have loved so far. Even though it's only been maybe two weeks that I've had it. The new Lorac Pro 2 palette. I freaking love this. I don't have the one, but I have the two because the two colors feel like more they're me. They're like my style. I like that there's purple and navy and jade and cocoa and there's rose and beige. Like I just love and they're so buttery, so pigmented. You can pick this up at your local Ulta uh, or Sephora and this goes for 42 bucks. Best high-end um, palette that I have right now. Next, this is from BH Cosmetics. Much more affordable um, and of uh, Makeup. This is only available online, vhcosmetics.com. This is the Galaxy Chic palette, and I just started busting it open recently. The colors, you guys, are freaking amazeballs. Like, I only did this for a second. Look how pigmented that is. I'm barely, like, really rubbing it. That's one swipe. Look at that. I love this palette. And it has, like, they all are, like, somewhat shimmery. Yeah, they're all shimmery. There's no mattes. That's okay because I love more shimmer than matte. All the colors here are my type of shadows. I believe these are on sale at BH Cosmetics. I want to say it's under 15 bucks. Best palette by far. I love shimmery palettes. This is hands down my favorite right now as far as um, cheaper palettes. And also from BH Cosmetics is... Eyes on the 70s. You guys know I already have eyes on the 60s. Eyes on the 70s is more of my pace because of the colors. And they all have like this protector on top. These are the colors I'm talking about. Like shimmers and you know more shimmer and then there's some mattes in between. But the colors are what I really go for. What I'm attracted to. This is also bhcosmetics.com. I believe they're like $11, $12. I just want to show you how it looks when you put on the Galaxy Sheet palette. Look at that. Bam. <laughs> um, that makes me laugh. If you guys are ever on YouTube and you watch this guy, he's in a green sweater. And he's like talking about Waffle House yellow or money green. It, that reminded me of him. I don't know why. Anyways, Tarte Cosmetics Smolder Eyes um, Liners. I've been using Purple Garnet which is this color right here. And a lot of people don't really realize it's purple. It looks more brown on the there. Urban Decay's Junkie, I've been using this a lot, that greenish colored one. It has a shimmer in it. And sometimes I do do my um, lower lash line, or I just use it as my regular liner. And this is NYX, what's this one? Blue Eyes, I've been using this one off and on too. That's that bluish one. NYX, you can buy anywhere, any drugstore. Most drugstores are having NYX everywhere now. And this is a Zurite Green. And this is from Tarte. And this is like a, there's no shimmer in it, but it's just your basic matte green liner. I don't know what it is lately. I've been using green, blue, purples, and browns on my uh, regular liner area. I don't know what it is. And what's in my bag when I go around and I'm like at work or if I'm going to the store, um, I've been loving this Milani Transparent Lip Liner. I use it on the outer part of my lips just so that it can keep the color in and it won't bleed. This is like $4 at Walgreens. I've also been carrying my Rimmel Lip Liner in Rose Quartz. And I love, this is like hands down my favorite shimmery lip gloss. The Marvelous Moxie from Bare Minerals. Moxie is not available at our outlets, but they're available at the boutiques. But you can go to Sephora and you can find it there. This is in, um, excuse me, Ringleader, which is like a pretty shimmery color. And it's got like purple and pink in there. I really love it. And it has a vanilla scent to it and it's minty on the lips. I also carry Sephora's, um, these luster mattes. 
This is in Fig, my favorite. And I also have Luster or Petal Luster. This is a nude and this is more of a pinkier mauve color. And I'm so sad, you guys. I know I've been posting about Primrose from Revlon. These are hard to find out. I can find it online at Ulta.com, but the price is a little higher. Um, Primrose 68 is now discontinued. I am so sad. Uh, I found out when I went to Walgreens a week ago. I was tempted to buy it out of their little bin they had on the table, but they weren't on sale. I really wanted to buy it, but I don't want to push out $8. I know. I could, because I can buy lip gloss at 16 but anyways, so sad Primrose is now discontinued, but my favorite, like, Revlon, like, nudie pink color. And then my Eclair um, Butter Gloss from NYX, which you can get at any drugstore, and this new Baby Lips Crystal. I forgot to tell you guys about this. I really love it. It's like a mauve. This is a mauve color. And it's got a little bit of a, ooh, smells fruity. It's got a little bit of a shimmer to it, but they're everywhere except, I, what did I get this? I think I got this at Walgreens, but some places don't have these yet. This is from Maybelline, and I know you guys heard of the Baby Lips before, but I love this uh, crystal one because it's got the shimmer in it. But this is my little bag I bring to go, and that's also my little monthly favorite. So thanks you guys for watching and subscribing if you have. Please leave comments down below and um, oh, follow me on Twitter at LadyPineapple26. Toodles.